but it would be crazy if me at 20 she, she can't just she really she cannot spend more than two minutes like not talking about how much she hates women then you have us believing in all these stupid social movements you have us living our lives for instagram if you think it's a stupid social movement then i'm gonna need you to make the argument for that please debate me please please oh my god it'll be like oh it'll be it'll be, it'll be 10 christmases like in one lovely little pocket <laughs> Pearly, right, she would sell a woman out for a Mars bar. Making videos about how women don't deserve anything, how it's all women's fault that men use them, that it doesn't even, domestic abuse doesn't really happen. And usually it's just like when uh, they're both hitting each other. Look, Andrew Tate's ex accusers have been exposed. Andrew Tate rejected her and she wanted revenge. How feminism uses propaganda to control society. Oh, and yeah, she did this fucking, like, debate with Piers Morgan. It was so cringe. Finding a trad wife in a world of feminist. Talk about how women, we just believe things. Now, I'm... We just believe things. So what? We're dumb bitches? I mean, speak for yourself, honey. I'm not saying feminine men don't believe things, too. But I'm saying women, we always go to the extreme where... You know, we'll lead these social movements and just believe them. Like, it's actually... So men don't lead social movements? Isn't the Flat Earth Society, like... Didn't that begin with a guy? All these social justice movements that, like, happened before women were even f***ing allowed to speak? We just believe things. She's constantly just talking about herself and just, she's just lumping the entire group of women into that? Quite crazy. So one of these... Crazy social movements is veganism. And as you guys- <laughs> Which, by the way, like, the term, like, the, 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 the one that we, like, know to be veganism today is, like, Donald Watson, right? Oh, yeah, a woman. Oh, yeah, these social movements, like, though in the back, like, they're mainly women, um, the ones kind of heading it, the ones, the popular ones, are the f***ing dudes. I, no, it's how she had to just f***ing make it about how much she hates women. I'm so much hotter than Pearly. I mean... I'm a fucking bin, right? But like for me, it's hard to like gauge because as soon as someone starts saying like horrible shit, like this person, like this Sophia, ugh, disgusting. It just, just, just like visually disgusting to me because of what she says. So I like it's, it's my brain can't compute like what someone really looks like. I don't know really what I look like. Um, so. But probably guess vegan activist women are just the most reasonable the most agreeable you know and they really like they just if you don't think i'm reasonable i'm a vegan woman debate me bitch. right hang on if you think vegan women activist women are so unreasonable then it should be no issue debating one want to do it tell people to get their points across and all they're doing is just being very reasonable and nice so there was a clip that came from a vegan protest let's pull the clip it feels fucking good you and your small dick and your pussy way of killing animals and it feels good you have all the blood on your face you have all the blood on your hands it feels good. Your yeah, I can't wait for her to actually insert an argument. Like, is it going to happen? Is it going to come where the argumentation is actually brought to the table? Like, so what? Someone's screaming at somebody. Oh, yeah, that's all vegan women. Oh, my God. There are male vegan activists, too. <laughs> but it's the women that are that are screaming. It's so funny once you start to, like, look at... This man right here. Oh, oh, vegan Spouting games the stupid is a woman. shit when you don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. Like, what are you, 15 fucking years old and you think you fucking know everything? <laughs> Bitch, Merriam Webster. AKA. This must be rage. The way you break it down. Eating fucking potatoes and rice this is a woman. doesn't give you fucking mental health problems, jackass. Yeah, hey, I hope we never see you again and you wind up in a fucking ditch somewhere. Yeah, that's, that's a woman. Yep, definitely. Okay. Well done, Pearl. You're so smart. Yeah, modern women as children. Because, like, that's like a kid's temper tantrum. 
I heard a guy say once that women stop maturing. Oh, well, you don't do a temper tantrum ever when you just emote everywhere and don't actually provide an argument that you can substantiate. Oh my God, please debate me. Please, please, please. Once they like hit a certain age where they start to get attention from men. So it's like some women that's 14, some women that's 17, some women that's 16. Um... And, you know, once I saw this, I really couldn't unsee it. And, you know, it's funny. Wait, what? One time, this is a, a side story. My grandma, I went, um, when I was in high school, I got in trouble. So my mom sent me to my grandma's house in Wisconsin. And it was so funny because my, gra my grandma was a widow at this time. And she took me to this, like, karaoke bar. And at the karaoke bar... It was like her and the other widows. It's very interesting. Men like die typically younger or like at an earlier age than women. And so the women, like it's like a new dating scene in like the 60s and 70s. It's very interesting. They'll be like dating someone and they'll just like die. Like I'm like, they'll literally be going on a date. What, and What's this got to do with vegan activists losing it? Vegan Is she just like filling the airtime? Like, oh, I, I dated him and then he died. But it was so interesting. Because the way they would speak about the guys, I remember being like 16 and thinking they sounded like high schoolers. I, rem I remember having this thought, like, they kind of talk like me and my friends do. And, you know, no, no shade to grandma, you know, rest in peace, loved my grandma. But, but it's just kind of funny where I realized, I'm like, women, we really just stay the same age like mentally for a lifetime like men kind of grow and mature what where is the like data that women just like don't mature ever and then men do why does she make shit up like on the spot yeah, no, she she actually thinks all women are just dumb. You know, they need to be ha have a man guardian. It's just so grim, so grim. You can you can definitely tell the difference talking to a young man and an older man, and you used to be able to tell the difference talking to a young woman and an older woman. But it's so interesting because, it, like, guys, this whole theme of this today is like these younger women act exactly like the older women. Like it's just this delusion. Where what do you mean? What are you talking about? Let's have a debate. Let's do it. Okay, and I'll demonstrate to you that I can think maturely, i.e. I can actually go through the logic except it, like instead of emoting everywhere like you do. You just emote. Like, I please. Like, I really want to know what <laughs> your, your take on veganism is. Okay, if I pretended to be a different race, People would think I was crazy. Like, they would think I was insane. What are you talking um, about? If I pretend to be a different gender. I mean, some people don't think you're crazy, but, like, th that's a small... Like, most people think you're kind of crazy, right? What, this is a video, like, delusional vegan activist loses at a vegan protest. And she's ranting about women, about trans people. I, I don't know what's going on. If you're really trans and pretending to be a different gender. But what do you mean old pretending women to be a different gender? Oh my god. Oh god, this is so much shit she says. It's just like so like where do you begin? Tending to be young women is socially acceptable. Why is it okay for a 45-year-old woman to pretend to be a 25-year-old woman? But it would be crazy if me at 20 What are you going on about? How are you pretending to be a 25-year-old woman if you d don't mature? What do you mean? Oh my god. What does that even mean? It's a big difference between acting immature and saying when you're actually 40 years old. Oh, by the way, I'm 22. Yeah, I am 22 years old. I, I'm so confused. What has this got to do with the delusional vegan activist? 26 year old woman pretended to be a baby. Wouldn't that be crazy? Like if I started saying goo goo gaga. But for some reason, these. I mean. That's kind of sometimes all I hear from you. Goo goo gaga. Women don't develop or mature, they just pretend they don't. I don't even know what she's on about. I really don't. Older women can dress like younger women. These older women can move like younger women, go to the clubs with younger women, date 
men that are like 20 years younger than them um, treat their kids as accessories. That's the other thing I realized. So many women want to have a kid. This no is about delusional vegan activists loses at vegan price. She, she can't just, she really, she cannot spend more than two minutes like not talking about how much she hates women. Yeah, she always sounds jealous. It's kind of her thing. Not because they love the kid, not because they want to be a wife and a mother and a helpmate to a man, but because they want like an accessory for Instagram. I swear, I swear I believe this. Like Instagram has brainwashed us so much that we almost like live our lives for Instagram. And you'll see, especially tradcon women, they'll, um, they'll get married and their husband almost becomes like a prop for their brand. And same with their kids. It's like they almost like don't get married and have kids because they want to and they like love their family. Why it just becomes like coming? part of the brand. And we almost have a society that's like moving and making decisions for Instagram because everything's so women led. So like women are leading families. Women are making purchasing decisions. Women have all the voting power. But it's so interesting because women are living for Instagram and making decisions for Instagram. You see women taking vacations for Instagram. You see women getting married for Instagram. You see women. She having can't get off the fucking I hate woman train for just one video. Honey, this is about vegan, like delusional vegan activists. And you had that one clip. <laughs> Children for Instagram. You see women. I think she's forgotten what she was talking about. And she's just like, oh, wait, I hate women, don't I? <laughs> Going to clubs, being a part of social events for Instagram. Like, we used to have a community. We used to build community and we would do it for fulfillment. But now it's literally for Instagram. But it's like weird. We have this whole society. Like, I don't know, in history, people would kind of do what made sense for society. And you wonder why we have all these, like, I don't know, this craziness. Is she going to talk about veganism again? <laughs> all these like mental health issues, like, you know, millionaire men cucking out their wife. You wonder why we have all these women that have it made and then they think they can do better. Like, it, it's so interesting because we always talk about the men's porn addiction, but we never talk about the women's social media addiction. And as women, we are like so addicted to social media that we are literally running society based on social media. And men on? Why are you gendering these things? <laughs> Show me the data that shows like social media addiction being like more statistically prevalent in women to a point where it's a concern that we need to like look into further and say, oh, is it something about them being women? And like, what? Media. We're making decisions for society based on social media. And we should be pissed off that the men are lying to us, that other women are lying to us, that older women are lying to us, and the media and companies are lying to us to take our money because that's all they care about. They don't care about the family. They don't care about us. All they want to do is make money off of us. And it's really like a sad way that society is going. Now, a lot of people want to come at me, but it's oh like, don't God. shoot the messenger. I'm not blind. And this isn't just a small oh percentage of women. I, I would say probably the majority of women are addicted to social media. Um, and we could talk about the men's porn addiction, right? I'm not saying that doesn't exist, but I don't think men are making life decisions based on porn. But women are making life decisions based on what social media says. Um, and they're worried more about the opinion of social media than the opinion of their husband. They're worried more about the, like, think about that. They're more worried more about the opinion. She's not going to talk about veganism again, is she? Of social media than their husband. But maybe I'm crazy, right? Yeah, really maybe, maybe. Maybe I am just cherry picking. And, you know, the women are of great yeah. quality um, with our head on straight, you know. And I actually, I want to add one thing. Women crave more than anything guidance. And I think that's like, you know, what does a child need growing up? Guidance. Why is... <laughs> I crave to just be thrown off a building because I just can't. <laughs> More than anything. Fuck the guidance, all right? I crave. <laughs> oh, you know what? Actually, that is guidance. I crave to be guided off a building. <laughs> In a video game. In a video game, yeah. Guidance. What do women need? We need guidance. And I know it's like people will say that's offensive to like refer to women as children. But guys, like, come on. Look at, look at us. Look at what we do when, when we have no guidance. So when they take the father out of the home, then you have us believing in all these stupid social movements. You have us living our lives for Instagram. If you think it's a stupid social movement, then I'm going to need you to make the argument for that. Please debate me. Please. Please. Oh, my God. It'll be like, oh, it'll be, it'll be, it'll be 10 Christmases, like, in one lovely little pocket. Please. Oh. We yeah, condition men to think that they are dumber than us, to think that they have no say, and to think that, they should not guide us when they absolutely should. Women, we need guidance because we're emotional. We process things with our emotion. We we just, we get all amped up and stressed out. Like men are a lot more calm. They're a lot more calm. Well, I can't wait for you to have a very logical debate then because it's going to be all emotion. She's just talking about herself. Problem solve. They're a lot more problem solving oriented. And that's really what we're seeing a lack of when you take the fathers out of the home is guidance. Young men need it. But especially the difference is young men get to a point where they can think for themselves. Young women, I promise to God.
what? What is it about men that they can like eventually think for themselves that isn't present in women? What do you mean? Oh God. Uh, we do not think for ourselves. You might think, you think for yourself. Yeah, you don't think for yourself, but speak for yourself. I fucking like, um, I really critically go through what, like, like, it's funny. She's like, oh, women don't think for themselves. And then she's talking about movements where like, they're not, they're not part of the social norm. They're part of the fringe. Okay. This is the problem. Like, I mean, it goes pretty far because then people like, think for yourself, believe the earth is flat. <laughs> but yeah, you, you have to go through some like, Heavy lifting to try and go against the vegan position. So I really hope you do it. Um, you do not. We can be so programmed by propaganda and the media. We're just different. And it's not a bad thing, guys. Yeah, like, well, what is it about women that means we can be so programmed by propaganda in the media, but men, men who don't have a father in the home, eventually they won't be programmed to propaganda and... Yeah, this is low cow behavior. In in history, this is how we would survive. You had to, you had to adapt to the group in order to we, survive. We she didn't talk about veganism. We've survived. But the problem is, the media companies have taken what used to help us survive and weaponized it so that we literally are destroying the family structure. She talks about veganism. Let's talk about just that one bit. Women stop maturing once they like hit a certain age where they start. What? She totally forgot the topic. <laughs> I feel like I've just been like violated. <laughs> but look, okay, pal, if you think it's delusional to be part of this and we just believe things and oh yeah, God, this is a ridiculous social movement. What's the argument for that? If you think so unreasonable and women are just so emotional, well, here's a woman vegan activist. Let's have a debate and see who's gonna be the most emotional.